Um, uh, so, uh, my name is Eistan Gavlen. I uh, work for Alibaba Cloud. Um, I used to work for, um, for uh, Oracle, working on my, the MySQL of myself. Uh, so, um, this is about a project we are doing in Alibaba, adding parallel query execution to uh, MySQL. Um, if you stay for the next presentation, you will uh, get to know more about PolarDB Pol in, uh, in general. Uh, but it, that is the it's a cloud-based architecture for uh, for databases. Um, so in this uh, uh, talk, I will talk a bit about what Parallel Query is, how how to use it, and some of the implementation and the performance we have. And uh, uh, this is work in progress. So I will also say something about what is currently lacking and what we plan to do in the. Uh, so what is uh, parallel query? Um, traditionally, MySQL <coughs> uh, has only been able to use one single thread for one executing one query. Uh, uh, you get a connection and then you get a thread. And everything you do within that connection will be, is uh, isolated to that thread, uh, except for uh, I.O., which where multiple threads may be used. Uh, so what we want to do is to be able to use multiple threads to execute one single query. And in order to use more of all the process that, that modern uh, computers have. So the goal is that if you use eight parallel threads, you can go eight times as fast as if you uh, use a single thread. And why this is needed is because for the last 50, since 15 years ago, the, 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 the processes have stopped getting any faster. Uh, but what makes computers faster is that you add more and more cores to the computers. So we want to take advantage of all these cores. You know, if you have like uh, a high transaction processing system, you take advantage of that because you have many concurrent users hitting at the uh, uh, system. But uh, if you run a more uh, longer running queries, you often have fewer users that, and you want to be able to, for them to use all the CPUs. <coughs> So uh, the goal here is to be able to run these queries directly on the old InnoDB storage engine uh, that is the most used by MySQL. Because there are other systems where you actually extract your data from your transaction processing database and then you put it into some other database like Redshift or, uh, uh, or special purpose analytics. This is not a project for this. This is a project where you run your existing queries on your existing database and get better performance due to parallelism. So, um, take an example. If you want to count how, number, how many uh, rows there is in a, a, a table, if you use one thread, you have to this thread have to scan all the uh, all the uh, rows of the table and do the count. And if this is the only uh, query running currently on your, uh, on your uh, machine, you, you might have uh, one active thread and then you have uh, six, 63 idle cores that are not doing anything. But instead we want to spread the work across all these cores using 64 threads and then each of the, each of the uh, threads will count just one part of the table and they all do 2% of the work and then in order, and then you just turn it all together to and report it back to the client. So that's the basic principles of uh, <coughs> of the uh, uh, parallel execution. So uh, so it works the way that there's a coordinator. It splits up the uh, table or index scan into equal size pieces, and then gives those pieces to the workers to uh, to work on. And then the coordinator at the end will gather the results and uh, put it together to the, uh, and report it back to the uh, uh, users. Um, so each of the workers will write their results to our, uh, their own buffer, and there will be message used between the, uh, each of the threads and the, uh, the coordinator, and, uh, and the coordinator will, will then read from these message queues and put the result together. If it's us, sum as a count as the example shows, it will sum the counts uh, 
so the internal here, as I said, uh, if you have a parallel sequential scan or parallel index scan, <coughs> you will partition the data. Uh, and distribute them across the workers. So if you, for example, you have a B-tree like this, and you want two partitions, what we do is to uh, divide the B-tree into two, two parts, and the worker will only see this. Worker one, for example, will only see this part, and worker two will only see this part. Uh, uh, so we are kind of logically uh, um, partitioning the B-tree. An alternative way is to do it that some other databases do is that, that they uh, that they kind of uh, just hand out one page at a time to each of the each of the uh, the workers. Uh, uh, one advantage of by partitioning like this is for example if you have two like this and the worker one if you only see this part is that we don't we, we can not only we can support more than just sequential scans. We can also if, if, for example, worker one is told uh, want is told to access uh, the, the row with key values uh, 19, for example, he will not see this because it's not in his partition. So that means that index lookups and everything is partitioned between the workers. And for example, then we can use the existing code. For example, uh, yesterday someone talked about data zero uh, supporting skip scan, which is a combination of scan and index navigation. And, and if you partition like this, it will scan and uh, navigate down, scan, skip, and scan, and so on. And when it comes here, it will not see any more rows, and it, it's part of the skip scan it is finished. And the partitioning is that if, the, if, you, if you ask for a few partitions, then we will only look at the root page, and you will divide if, for example, here there are four but three keys, there will be and two or two partitions, then you will get two two of the ranges to each of the partitions. But if you want more partition partition, you have will have to go down one level in the B three and partition at that level, for example. Um, yes, but it's not. That's I'll come to that on the next one. And. Um, we could do one partition to each worker. But what happens then is that some partition may be slower to process than other partitions, and then one worker would uh, uh, get behind. So what we have found is that if we partition, because 100 times as many partitions as we actually have worker, things will even out, and there will be kind of only a small percentage of difference between how much uh, uh, time each worker will spend. But some worker might process twice as many partitions as other workers. It depends on the, uh, because there might be correlation between the scan sequence and the, uh, the uh, wear condition that you have, for example, so that some workers will filter out many more hours than other workers. And also, it's easier to get partitions of more equal size if you ask for more of them, because since the splitting is done at the, at the high level, um, if you like, um, ask for uh, a few partitions, then there might be uh, three small and one dog twice as big, for example, uh, and things like that. And when and it's implemented so that one, when one worker go beyond its current partition, it will just be assigned to a new one. So the whole, the whole the, the, uh, the motivation for doing it is that like this is to be able to use existing code without doing any much changes. And we have existing storage API between the server and the storage engine can be used uh, without any change of the code. So we support different operations to be done in parallel. For example, sorting, then each uh, worker will so the 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 rows of its uh, its rows, and then the, the 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 leader will merge these rows together. Uh, 
group by the same way each uh, each row will compute its uh, its uh, it, 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 the groups for its rows and the aggregation for it, its rows, and then it will report back back to the leader, and it, and it will merge the groups. In some cases, the uh, the groups may be split so that there's no overlap between the the, the different workers. In that case, uh, it's just a single merge. Uh, other cases, the same groups will be at most many of the workers, and then there will be more work on the leader, and it will not scale as well as. MySQL does not support hash joins. Uh, so uh, nest loop joins is the only thing you have here. And we can, it works the way that you partition the first, the driving table, and then you, um, it does the join with all the other tables for the rows it sees, and then reports the results back. Um, and this works well if the driving table is a good table for partitioning, but in some cases, uh, the first table will be just a small table that there's no, no, uh, no possible to partition, and that's something we are working on and, and, uh, for the uh, in the coming uh, months is to also support that kind of also in Chris. Um, yes. So how do you use it? Uh, we have this session variable uh, max parallel degree that tells how many how is the more many. How many workers can you do at, use at most for this query? So you set this to uh, uh, a certain uh, value. If, for example, you set, set it to 64, it, you can use the max, uh, maximum of 64 uh, worker threads for uh, executing the query. Uh, it may use less threads if it, it decides that it's not uh, efficient to use that many threads for, for the query. And if it decides that this, for example, this looks like the table is too small or something for parallelization. Uh, you can actually force it to use parallel uh, execution by uh, setting this uh, force parallel mode where we are. We will also uh, support hints so that you can, in, for a specific query, say that this should be executed in parallel, or this should be executed in parallel with this number of workers. So this will override any decision made by the uh, by MySQL on how many workers to use. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing I forgot to say about join was that uh, we currently we just we have not changed the optimizer yet. So we currently just use whatever query plan that the optimizer has originally uh, originally uh, decided on. So and that may. Uh, uh, that makes it, uh, uh, it com may come up with a plan that is not, that is the best for serial execution, but not necessarily the best for parallel execution. For example, putting a small table at the first. So you can use hints also to change the join order, for example, to something that's better for parallel execution. But the goal in the future is to be able to uh, change the, uh, to produce plans that are better suited for parallel execution. If you want to know whether a parallel scan will be used for a query, you can use explain and it will actually say how many workers it plans to use. So a little bit about performance. Um, uh, we have uh, run the dbt3 queries on this uh, on our implementation. dbt3 is a open source version of the TPCH benchmark, which is a set of 22 queries for uh, decision support type of uh, requests. And this is query 6, which is a single table query where you sum up the, uh, uh, the revenue for a certain period for a certain, with a certain discount and so on. And we have tested this on different types of sizes of the uh, the uh, TPC dbt uh, 3 database. This is five scale factor 5, 10, 20, and 40, I guess. And you can see here that it scales pretty well compared to the 
the, the dotted line has the ide ideal scaling. Uh, if you uh, use the time by two, if you add two more, uh, uh, if you double the uh, number of uh, of plants. So it's pretty it's scaling pretty well, uh, and it goes down, for example, from 89 seconds uh, in the uh, scale factor pi case to 3.4 seconds if you use uh, 32 rotor plants. This is on the 32 core machine. So, uh, uh, and similar for the DBT3 QL1, which is also a single table query, uh, you see that it scales pretty well. 29 times, uh, or, or, uh, it, it's divided by 29 the execution time if you use 32 worker plans. So it's close to a linear scalability in this case. And they can also, uh, and why is the linear scalability so important? It is because uh, if your business grow, you want also your uh, your uh, performance to keep up. And and so if you scale in your life, you see that uh, if you get twice as much data, if you add twice as many cores, you are still using the same time to execute the query. So in this case, we say how that if you go from scale for the factor 5 to scale factor 10 to scale factor 20, you see that we have the same execution time if we proportionally add cores to execute the query. So if you, if you add more cores on the same data volume, you, you will get faster. If you add both more data and more cores, you will keep the same uh, performance. We can show that this case uh, linear also for many of the joint queries in TPSH. And uh, here is the example is query 12, 12, which is a two table joint, I think. Uh, and we have, uh, these are the results for the TPT3 uh, queries that we are able to execute in parallel currently. Um, uh, not all should show uh, good speed up, some of them do. Uh, like uh, 1, 6, 9, 12, 14, and 19. Currently, uh, there's a joint query where there's, uh, there's one issue that is not particular to parallel execution in, uh, in MySQL is that if you use an index, common index scan, there's a bottleneck on the root page of the, uh, of the uh, table. So you, you scan the index, then you go, because indexes in, in MySQL use primary key to refer to the row. So you have to navigate through the B3 uh, to find the row. And then many rows, many threads are hitting on the same B3. That, that is a button that even not particular to the uh, power query. If you do that with multiple different users doing copying index and at the same time, you see the same problem. So that's something we will look into and see how we can get better scaling on, on index, uh, 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 index scans. Uh, for query five, and this is a small table at the end, so, so uh, at the beginning. So this is actually not scaling that good uh, because of the query plan. Uh, in fact, it, it scales better than nothing because uh, you go, now you have actually uh, two threads. You have the leader and the uh, the single worker that actually does anything, and so that that combination gives you a 1.7 speed up or something. But you can't go beyond that by, by adding more workers. And query time, the problem is that there is very many groups in a group by query. So that all workers will have all the same groups, and the leader will become the bottleneck because it has to uh, group together all this. So, so, so we, will, uh, we are working on uh, getting a better group by execution, where maybe the workers <coughs> do some sorting so that the merging will be easier for the, for the uh, leader. Um, some uh, demo uh, I can show maybe. Uh, okay, this did not show up on. I have to do something.
that's I think that has to be. Oh, maybe. Let's see. from the TPCH, and if I uh, try to run this, it did not work. Are you running now? Yeah, it's running. Okay. So it takes 2.93 seconds if I do it. Uh, I'll do it again just to show you that this is kind of <coughs> fine. I have enough, uh, enough uh, mem buffer pool have to uh, have it all in memory. So if I set it up to four, four and then run it again, you can see that it's uh, less than one third of time. Uh, so it's not perfectly scaling, but this computer is doing any other things at the same time, so it's, uh, you will not expect the scalability of four. Yeah. And we also have uh, added some simple uh, uh, diagnostics. So if I, uh, Yeah, I have this performance schema query which I can run, and then I can see that uh, I have run four workers here, and they have uh, processed that many hours. So you see, each of them process about the same number of hours and takes about the same amount amount of time. Uh, so that's just uh, a simple example. Um, so if I can get back to uh, yes. Uh, so uh, as I said, this is a work in progress. So uh, we have some limitation currently. We only select, uh, support select queries, and uh, and the parallel scale is only on the driving table of the to join, as I said. So. It does not scale well uh, for other query plans. We can uh, uh, change the join order, but it's not optimal. Uh, it only works for InnoDB also. I'm not sure we will do anything about that. But uh, things uh, that is not currently executed in parallel is some queries. And that's why I only show seven of these DBT queries, because the rest of them are using sub queries in some, uh, some way. So that's the. We are starting to looking into uh, supporting that uh, now. Some of the sub queries are uh, you use materialization, so you can execute them in parallel first, and then you can use that temporary result and execute the rest of the query in parallel. Uh, others will uh, be just pushed down, and each worker will execute the same sub queries because they are dependent on those of the uh, other queries. We don't. We want to support Windows functions and Lola, which is pretty important with, uh, with uh, analytics queries. And we also do not support special data types like JSON and GIS yet. So there's a lot more to do uh, uh, here. So, so uh, uh, okay. One more. Yeah, and there's, we don't do not suppose this arise the large selection level. I'm not sure we will be able to do it very easily because it's inherent in the way InnoDB works that it's a bit difficult to parallelize if you use serializable. Uh, uh, so, uh, so 
I think uh, the MySQL team at Oracle need to do something with that in the before we <laughs> try that. Uh, so what would we would like to do, we have done this. This part is what I've talked about. I talked about we want to support more joint queries and sub queries and optimize some of the performance of the existing thing. We want more diagnostic support, but we have a performance schema now, it's pretty simple. Um, and so for the next major stage is to be able to uh, uh, use more than one little gather process. Uh, so that you can uh, merge, you can uh, distribute loads between workers using an, uh, what we call an exchange operator. Uh, and we want parallel hash join because it's uh, what is mo most effective for many of these parallel execution uh, things. And we, as far as I know, um, uh, Oracle MySQL is working on this. So when that is ready, we will be uh, we will start looking into how to parallelize this. Okay, uh, and the end goal is to be able to have an optimizer that actually takes uh, advantage of uh, such groups. That's all. So, any questions? <laughs>